Hello people, this is Barry, welcome to Barry Collector, and today it is that time of the month. We're going to take a look at the number of boxes available in the market, both on Car Market, TG Player. We'll take a look at the spreadsheet that I update every month, and I keep track of all the supply that there is available on the market at a given time. We're starting in November, so we're starting to get some interesting data points. We're going to see, I'm going to spoil it, we're going to see some huge differences, especially in the European market for a set which is going to be lost origin and you'll see that and also we'll see how the number of supply diminishing will affect price now before we get started i just want to remind you that if you enjoy talking about pokemon investing and pokemon cards i recommend you join the discord the link in the description of this video so also if you've been following me you know that in one of my videos uh, i think it was from last week i talked about how i did buy lost origin and just wait a second and it finally came. So I got my two boxes of uh, Lost Origin, which I got at a decent price because we're going to take a look in just a second how much these guys are going for. And then I also got an ETB that we're going to open on the channel as soon as I get also my Kronzanth uh, ETBs for the, the box break. So with buff further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to try to be as quick as possible as I know I talk too much, guys. I'm sorry. Um, so we're going to take a look at uh, actually... We'll start with supply, then we'll take a look at prices now and what they were uh, last month. So I also added uh, some interesting charts that we're going to take a look in just a moment. So if you guys appreciate this content, please let me know in, down in the comments. That's, this is what, one of the videos that really takes me quite some time, quite uh, several hours, not only to to record and edit, but also to take a look at all the data, compile into the, the spreadsheet and then come up with a with different things. So. If you guys appreciate this work, please let me know, and I would appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe. So, Chin and Rain, uh, actually, let's just take a, without taking a look at numbers, let's just take a look at the charts that uh, I think are just easier to to to, to look at. So, Chin and Rain, um, Chin and Rain, car market is the orange line, TCG player is a blue one line, and it, it goes for all these four sets. Now, Chilling rain. Uh, we, we've seen ever since January a diminishing in supply on car market. Also, it is diminished um, on TG players on the American market, but not not as much. Not as uh, let's say let's call it. Forgive me the word violent, uh, steep move uh, to the downside. However, we did see an increase over the past uh, month on TG player of box. Again, as always, I know these are not the only boxes that are available on the market, but at least. It, it tends to show a good representation of the number of boxes that are available. Um, I cannot know all the supply out there. I know people will have plenty of, of cases uh, that are not for sale yet, but uh, we can get uh, an estimate of what, what the number uh, is looking like out there. So Fusion Strike, your Strike, uh, it's been following the trend. It's going down ever since November. And uh, we do have here, as you can see, on current market, a similar number of box car market entity player that it's both in the 50s um, whereas chilling rain is around the 60 now brilliant star brilliant stars as you can see we're going to also compare all these sets all together so just take a look uh, a moment in just a second brilliant stars as you can see also it's going down uh, it's going down you have pretty much double the amount of boxes on car market than uh, tg player now if you're new Car market, I'm talking only English boxes. So obviously on car market, European market, you have different languages. We only take a look at English boxes here on the channel. And astral radiance, astral radiance, very interesting. Um, let me zoom in. As you can see here on the European market, you had uh, basically 100 boxes are gone from the market in just uh, a matter of uh, of not even a month. So that's pretty interesting. I wonder what, what happened there. Where I, it is pretty stable um, on TCG player, which it, it would suggest that supply meets demand for the time being. And you see that in price. We're going to take a look at in price, how it's evolving, but it's pretty much stable on Astro Radiance. And that usually, you know, as I always say, supply against demand, the simplest of model, and then price uh, where they meet is market price. So if price doesn't change much, it means that uh, neither do supply uh, and demand. So. Yes, quite the significant drop in pri uh, on supply on, on the European market, car market, as you can see here. Now, that lost origins, as I said, we're going to see a huge 
um, number of boxes that are gone from the market. If you look at car market, uh, unfortunately, lost origin, we've been only keeping track for a, a couple of months. So we don't have enough data and that's why you don't see a chart yet. But obviously, as soon as we do have enough, enough data points, we'll start to, to, to draw a line chart for uh, lost origin as well, as well as evolving skies. So lost origin, uh, at the end, the beginning of the month, uh, March 3rd, you had 334 boxes on car market, 82 on district player. Today, you have 104 boxes on car market, 104, 104 boxes against 334. So it's a third of the boxes you have. Doesn't mean that they're all gone, they're all been open, absolutely not. We do not know that. We only know that they're just gone from the market. So if you buy at 150, um, it's uh, highly possible you're gonna sell it uh, at 150 or 160, you're gonna wait and see. So you are the market, you make the market. Um, so again, without further ado, let's just want to show you the data today. Don't want to get too much into technicals for that. We'll have other opportunities where we, where we, we're just going to cover specific sets and see, look at demand and supply and go into the technicals, um, on, onto the microeconomics part of it. If you're something that interests you, just let me know down in the comments. So evolving skies, as you can see here, we, we have a data point from uh, March 20th and also February, February, we only, we only have the car market supply. 112 car market in February and we have 66 so half basically of the boxes however it did increase compared to uh, a week ago uh, but price also increased significantly uh, there's a specific video I made on, on involving skies and I'll link it up should be popping up on top of my face so you guys don't have to look at me the whole time uh, and I, I'm sorry to, to keep track of civil tempest as we had a significantly decrease in supply on the European market. We've had uh, roughly a thousand boxes uh, on, um, on Silva Tempest on car market and now we have 350. So interesting to see what has happened there. Now let's take a look at uh, how prices are evolving. So to do that I'll bring on the latest update that I had on the channel. So Chilling Rain as you can see here on car market uh, last month we had uh, 150 lowest listed 160 and then a ton around 170 and then uh, let's see if we also had the american market uh, we don't unfortunately uh, but uh, the good thing about this g player is that you, you do have the on this g player you have the chart the the price line whereas on car market uh, you really don't you do but it, it, it doesn't really show it actual what was uh, what's actually happening. Also, because you have uh, different languages, and uh, this chart uh, keeps track of all the different languages, so it's really uh, I I don't rely on it. Uh, it's completely wrong for what I needed to, and I uh, would suggest also you guys don't don't look at it. But you you, you rather keep track of, of the price. So that being said, when it comes to chilling rain on the European market right now, one sixty. 170 remember all these prices do not include shipping and you do you're starting to have a uh, quite more uh, significant listing multiple listing and 180 and then 190 so i would say around 180 100 yeah we're in 180 US pretty much market price and that is without shipping so you could end up paying about uh 190 to 200 euros for a booster box in the european market against again it really ha hasn't moved much, as you can see here, 165, 170, so about 10 euros. Um, and then if you look at, at the American market, we can see here how it did uh, increase and it now listed for 190 shipped, 195, 200, so just south of $200 for a box of uh, Shining Rain in the American market. Now let's get back to Brilliant Stars, Brilliant Stars on the European market and let's get back to the video. So for Brilliant Stars, uh, we where is that? So Brilliant Stars right here, the European market, uh, you have uh, you had it at 165 to 170. And uh, right now it's still a same price, really hasn't changed much. And we also see in, in the number of boxes for both Brilliant Stars, Chilling Rain, and Fusion and Strike, the number of boxes, so the supply on the, America, on the European market as well as the American market hasn't changed much. Um, where, where it has for astral ratings and lost origins as well as evolving sky. So we're going to take a look at, at, at those in just a second. So 
Brilliant Stars here hasn't really moved much, still 175, 170. And if we take a look at the American market, you can also see how it really hasn't moved. Brilliant Stars is still available on the Pokemon Center. I'm talking about the US, obviously we do not have a Pokemon Center in the European Union. There's one in the UK, but it is outside of the Union. So as you can see here, listed for as low as $170. So roughly uh, what you could get it for um, on the Pokemon Center, as I would believe $143, uh, but you know if you had, need to add taxes on it and shipping. So moving on to the next one, uh, which actually let's go on to Fusion Strike, which is right here. Forgive me for the confusion. So Fusion Strike, let's get back to the video last month video. Fusion is right here. We had it a 150 uh, for two Spanish sellers and then as low as 160, 165. So that's, it's it's different. You have your 150, it's your uh, feedbacks, and then you, you jump straight onto 180 single listings. The only multiple listing is sitting at 205. Again, all these prices in the European market do not include shipping. So it, it, it moved, uh, I would say safely, a tiny, uh, slightly below, 200 euros is now the market price for Fusion Strike in the European Union. It, as we also know, it did change as well in the American market, as it is now selling for 230, 200, and um, yeah, 32. As you can see now, it's sorry, it's selling for 240 in the American market. Now let's take a look at uh, again the number of boxes of Fusion Strike. They, as you can see, they both on the European and the American market. They they came down, supply has diminished, so you can see how price also reacted. But if it's different, because also on Chilean range, supply diminished, but prices haven't increased as much. So what does it tell? What, what's it telling us? Demand for Fusion Strike is higher than Chilean range. I'll see it again. We can see both on the European and the American market that supply for Chilean range has diminished, especially in the U European on the Americas, it's actually increased, but just by uh, not a certain number of boxes and prices, as we just seen, haven't really increased as much. Whereas on Fusion Strike, the number of boxes diminished, but not significantly. Uh, you see uh, what a uh, 30, 25 boxes difference in the European Union and uh, what five boxes difference in the American market. But uh, so price has increased quite significantly over 20% increase over the last month. And that tells us that demand for fusion compared to the same amount of supply has increased. So demand for fusion strike as at least right now is higher than what is for chilling rain. Obviously that's that's what that's for now. We'll see how that is going to play out in the future. So astral radiance, let's take a look astral. Let's if we have it in here. Yes we do. So in the European market last month, we had it for as low as 120 euros, and it is going to be the same now. So here at 109, but that's a United Kingdom, so outside the European Union, and you can find it for as low as 120. And a lot of supply in 135 and 140. So still pretty cheap in the European Union. If we take a look at the American market, it is a, a bit, uh, it's, it's been moving higher, as you can see here, as low as listed as uh, 140. Five dollars to one fifty, so it did. It it's pretty much selling again for what is uh, MSRP, and w this is also another set that is available on the Pokemon Center in the U.S. Unlike Fusion and Chilling, so that's something also to keep in mind. Now let's start to talk about the two main characters of today's video: Lost Origin and Evolving Skies. So. Let's see, do we have, we should have Lost Story. Yes, we do have Lost Story in here, and that's something that it, it really, it, it, it amazes me. Now, remember, Lost Origin, it is available on the Pokemon Center in the US, but as I said, we do not have a Pokemon Center in, in the European Union. I'm saying this, and you see why in just a second. So last month, we had a ton of supply, as you can see here, around 135 euros. You see 20 boxes, 83, 12, 11, a ton of supply, and again, that's not even a month ago, four weeks ago. So today, the lowest listed is 184 euros, and that's in Switzerland, which again is outside the European Union. So you're gonna have to pay customs on top of these 
So at lo lowest listing in the European Union is 189 in Italy, and then we have Poland 190, and then you always jump into the 200 if you want multiple listings. So that's a 30% increase in four weeks. That's uh, that's quite a move for a law student here in the European Union. Again, if you're American, you're gonna say well, we can get, just get it for for less in the Pokemon Center. I know, but again, we do not have one in the European Union, unfortunately. And uh, it also uh, went higher in the American market, as you can see here. Even though it is still available on the Pokemon Center in the American market, in the I mean. Many people are arguing that it's going to be soon gone. Well, we're going to have to see, but it is selling for $175 roughly. Um, so um, that's also something to keep in mind. But in the European Union, wow, 30% in four weeks is, is something that you don't see often. But it, it is something that you see with what? With Evolving Skies. So Evolving Skies, and you're going to have to wait a second here. So I'm just going to spam my channel a bit. If you If you like what you see, please... Uh, I would highly suggest that you take a look at the channel. That's what we like to do. I like to take a look at the data. I try to uh, provide as much information as I can. Okay, so this is last week's video on Evolving Skies, which if you haven't um, watched already, I'm basically talking about how the American and the European market differ. And uh, basically, when Evolving Sky was selling for almost $700 in the US, at the same time, uh, let me show you if I can, where I can find it, at the same time, in the European Union, it was selling for 500, and uh, a week earlier to that, a week prior, you could, you could get it for for 420 to 450 do, uh, euros. So that's not that's a bit less, a bit under than 500 dollars. At the same time, it was selling for 700 in the US. So so basically, that was the whole point of the video, and I was also going over a, a few reasons why that could be. So as you can see, 500 euro that was listed uh, a week ago on the European market. And right now we are at 569, 580. So three listings below 600 euros and then all above that market price. So yeah, a 20% increase as well for Evolving Skies over one week. That's one week. Again, so 30% of loss origin in a month, four weeks actually. And then in a week, 30% uh, move for Revolving Skies. And in a month, I am pretty sure it was about uh, uh, more than that because as I said, a month ago, you get it for 450 euros. So again, let's get back to final chart that I, I posted for this week is pretty new. I'm just now to keep track of all of them. These four, I'll add Lost Origin as soon as we have more data on the European market and on uh, TC Player Show, the American market, so we can keep track of all of them at the same time on those two different markets. And uh, are you noticing something? They're all going down over time. So supply is diminishing. Again, is this all the supply in the market? Absolutely not. We do not have, we have no idea how many boxes there are out there, but uh, as long as one seller doesn't come along and list uh, hundreds of boxes at below market price, market price uh, will stay at where it's at. So, Again, if you appreciate this video monthly day, it takes a lot of time to do this kind of video. We highly appreciate it if you could let me know if you do appreciate them. And if you do, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps and it goes a long way for the algorithm. Thanks for watching nevertheless, and I hope to see you in the next one.